Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my latest video. I'm going to apologize right now because the audio on this is going to suck. I've got a new setup for all of my equipment. I've moved everything kind of around when I'm filming and I sort of forgot to set my microphone back up. Sorry. So while I forgot my microphone, which was a big mistake, how does a YouTuber forget the fact that they don't have a microphone source? In all fairness, I've been very sick. Very bad sick. So again, sorry. Okay, so tonight is going to be a brother and sister movie night, which I've absolutely dreaded all oh, week. Just kidding. <sighs> Mostly. This last Thursday night, a brand new movie came out. And it's a movie about one of probably the most evil gingers that has ever lived. And I'm not talking about Lindsay Lohan, because everybody knows that's probably Carrot Top's domain. I am talking about, of course, Child's Play. The techno remake of a 1988 slasher film about a killer doll who gets possessed by the spirit of a serial killer who got shot in a toy store. And that was the nearest thing that he could do his voodoo on. Voodoo, it's a new thing. It's a new form of 80s voodoo. In true Mikey fashion, just like I did with Pet Cemetery, 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 that's a whole other movie. You should check that out right here. Yeah, right here. Maybe somewhere in this strong area. Pet Cemetery. I'm going to make a whole night of this with my sister. I feel good. We're going to go do this. And I'm going to, you know, film some stuff. Not the movie. Maybe some stuff going to the theater. And then I'll come back, sit down right here in this chair, change my backdrop, and then I'll give you a review of what I thought of the movie. And I know you're dying to see it. All right, so I'll be back. All right, so we are heading toward the movie. We are running late because Christy had to bathe and get her hair done and a whole bunch of crap. Yeah, we just barely made it. There was a shit ton of kids everywhere. Uh, child's play, Chucky, wow. Well, it was definitely by far the best remake I've seen in a really long time. I'll be your buddy, your only friend. I'll be your buddy until the end. Hey Andy, wanna play? We are back. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, damn good FX makeup job. And it's probably one of your best. I know. But just like Chucky, I was meant to be ugly. I'm probably one of the ugliest redheads you'll ever see. And also too, this is actually orange, but my color correction that I'm using makes it look such a failure at my job. All right, so you have by now obviously just watched the little montage, which I know wasn't much content, of me and my sister going to the movie theater. I have said this over and over, and I actually said that back in the trailer review that I'd done a couple months ago, which was when I was really getting into YouTube. I dislike most remakes. There's very few remakes that I've actually found myself liking. And I have always said, and this is from my personal point of view, and I know some of you won't agree with me, and that's okay, because that's what's good about the internet. We can all have opinions and make fun of one another behind our keyboards, and nobody ever has to get mad. I believe that a movie pretty much should not be remade unless there's a reason to sort of update the technology. In other words, if there's like a reason to bring the movie into modern times, then by all means, remake it. Child's Play was that movie. People are no longer scared of creepy dolls, minus Annabelle, but that's like a whole nother, that's, yeah, a whole nother thing. However, today's children are consumed with artificial intelligence. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 102. Sorry, what? Social platforms where everybody is interconnected. It makes sense to bring a classic scary story into modern times and make kids afraid of something that they use every day. Obviously, Chucky was kind of based on the My Buddy Dolls of the 80s, which was a huge thing. I owned one, I think several other friends own one. And people use their imagination, now people use technology, so just spin that shit around, scare the crap out of kids. I mean, I'm not advocating that, but I'm just saying. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Aubrey Plaza, y'all. Aubrey Plaza. I love this girl. I love her social awkwardness. I don't really consider myself to be very socially awkward. I was when I was younger, but then I kind of come out of my shell. Call me Aubrey. Jennifer, don't call me. You and me. We're going to get married. Yeah, you and me. Oh, and in case you didn't know, fun fact, I like to watch color schemes with movies. And if you notice, a lot of times my backdrops, now that I'm a little bit more professional, sometimes will sort of match a theme or something that's kind of 
in the movie that makes my review seem like it may be a part of the movie. There was a lot of blue and red used in this movie, and that would be because, obviously, Chucky, redheaded, blue and red clothes, blue outfit, little overalls. You know, that's probably where they're going with that. Lots of blue and red, so we got blue on my hair, and we got red on my hair. This movie used, like most movies do now, a lot of jump scares, a lot of music cues, but it worked. I actually jumped one time. My sister jumped a few times. And Chucky, I don't know, he's just such a cool little, you can't help but love him. He's a villainous, evil little prick. And you just fall in love with the little guy. And whenever the movie goes off, and you see that there's another one over in some manufacturer wherever he is in a, the Kessler Corp whatever the name of the place was Kaiser Corp no that's insurance in the Kaiser Permanente yeah that's it that's where we're going in the Kaiser Permanente facility and he freaks out well he don't freak out his eyes glow red and you're just like yes sequel yeah I really rooted for Chucky no actually I didn't that sounds that sounds awful I loved the new Chucky. I liked Mark Hamill as the voice I thought he did a really good job he made it really spooky he had that whole you know, perfect monotone thing. He had kind of gave him a little bit of a character, but enough to where you could clearly tell he was an AI toy. Chucky did some popping and some locking because, you know, he's a robot. Creepy movie. And I thoroughly, orange fingers. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. It was a remake that I'm glad that I went and seen. I'm glad I went and seen it in theater. And I can't say that about a lot of movies. I give it a B plus. I think my sister would probably give it a B plus. And even if she don't, her opinion doesn't matter because this is my video. And if you want her full opinion, go watch her YouTube, which she don't have. So you're screwed. Okay, so, a so aside from the fact that I realized that I had some handy dandy overalls, which I would have got except for they're over there and I've got the camera set up and I don't want to go get them now, that I forgot, which was going to be a pretty pivotal part of this review, this review's done. Go see the movie if you are a horror fan, if you are a fan of the Child's Play series, if you're a fan of Chucky and you got an open mind, go see it. And especially go see it if you're a kid. No, I'm just kidding. That's it for this video. If you like the movie, give this video a like, give this video a comment, subscribe to me. There'll be more random content. I have no sort of set thing that I do. Well, I can't believe I just said that. I literally just said that. I'm all over the place. I do all kinds of different videos. You're not going to put me in a box. Yeah, that's basically all I'm trying to say. Come back next week or in a couple of days, there'll be a new video. Actually, it will be next week, but there will be a new video. Aubrey, call me. Yeah, and uh, I guess this is done. I'm going to go see if Andy wants to play. Bye. <laughs>